Okay, in this video, we want to talk about the intersection between two conic um, sections. So this can definitely get a little interesting. Um, for the sake of our purposes, I want to I want to touch on it. I want to talk about how it's a thing, and then um, move on. Okay, so we're we're distance learning. We're doing the best we can. We're gonna we're gonna touch on this, do a couple of examples, and then um, and then kind of go from there. Okay, so to begin with, it says find the intersection between. Well, what is this shape? You'll notice this, hopefully you recognize immediately that this is a circle. Um, and then this one right here, notice that the y is squared but the x is not, this is a parabola. Okay, and we want to find where do these intersect. Well, so different things can happen. Uh, let me find another piece of scratch paper. Okay, you could have a circle and an ellipse that never touch. You could have, oh, that's not an ellipse, that's a parabola, my bad. Okay, you could have a circle where the parabola passes through it and hits in two places. You could have a situation where the circle and the parabola do something like that, where you have one, two, three, four places. You could have a circle with the parabola opening on top of it and they just intersect at one spot. You could have, um, that's not a very good circle. Let me try again. You could have a circle and then the parabola kind of does this sort of thing where it's hitting in three different places. Okay, so, um, so you could have no solution. You could have one solution. You could have two solutions. You could have three solutions. You could have four solutions. So there's a little bit of work that we need to do in this problem. Um, I'm definitely not going to make them as difficult as they could be. Okay, so here's this, and there's our circle and our parabola. So what I see in this problem is, um, uh, let's see what we can do by hand first, okay? Um, the calculator might be helpful, but I don't have one, so. Um, okay, well anyway, so here's what I see. I see that it would be rather easy to put this equation in terms of y squared. And the reason that I want to do that is because over here I see just a y squared. So I know that this, this would be y squared is equal to 8x when I multiply both sides by 8. Um, so now I can come over here and I can take this and substitute this in wherever I had seen the y squared before. So I have an x minus 5 squared plus an 8x equals 25. Well, now we need to clean this up. x squared minus 10x plus 25 plus 8x equals 25. This is convenient that 25s cancel out on both sides. Negative 10 plus 8 is negative 2. So this becomes x squared minus 2x is equal to 0. Um, yes, this could definitely be significantly more challenging, but we're going to just go with this. Okay, so I can factor this out. And I get that x is equal to 0, and I get that x is equal to 2. Okay, so now let's think about this for just a second. Well, two things. We need to go back and figure out what the y values are. Um, but we also, it helps to know what's happening here. So what I see is I see a circle that's got a, a radius of 5, and it's centered at the point 5, 0. So 5, 0 over here, and it's got a radius of 5. That means it's going to do something like that. Okay, that's actually one of my better circles. Hmm. Okay, um, and then they tell me that it intersects at zero. Well, if it intersects at zero on that circle, that's going to be the point zero, zero. Let's check over here. If I plug in zero for x, so I have x is equal to one-eighth y squared. Zero is equal to one-eighth of y squared. The only way to get zero is for that to be zero. Okay, so we have this point zero, zero right here. Well, then they tell us that we've got an x value of two. Well, let's think about this. The parabola is opening sideways, okay? So it's opening up something like this. So I would expect it actually to have two different um, places. X is going to be two, but it's going to hit up here and down here. Okay, let me show you what I mean. If I come over here and say X is equal to 1 8 Y squared, and then I say, well, X is equal to 2, Multiply both sides by 8, so I get 16 is equal to y squared. Well, now you'll remember from the very beginning, the very first thing I did with you guys is that we went square root, square root, plus minus. And so y is actually equal to plus or minus 4. So our points of intersection are going to be 0, 0, which we have here. We're going to have the point 2, positive 4, and we're going to have the point 2, negative 4. So that's here and here, and this parabola, oh, pretend I can draw. 
that parabola is doing something like that. Okay, um, you may have seen in my previous video that I showed you more of my Desmos screen than I intended. Um, I'm gonna show that to you now. So what I was doing a little bit ago is, okay, can you, there we go, is I was plugging in these different things and trying to, to make sure that I picked a, a decent example. So when I craft that, that's what Desmos gave for me. Um, and then I knew that my points were correct. So hopefully that's helpful. Practice the few that we give you. If you have questions, please let me know.